Whether land is being used for agriculture, urban landscape, recreation, building sites or landfills, it's important to understand how water moves through and is held by soils. Capillary forces, whether cohesion or adhesion, are largely controlled by soil texture. Any factor that affects soil pore size and shape will influence capillary water retention and movement. Examples of such factors other than texture are organic matter, soil structure, and soil density. Elevation above a free water table also affects the water retained by a soil at a given elevation. Together, these factors affect the water holding capacity of a soil, as well as the rate of water movement. The portion of soil water available to plants is often referred to as available soil water. In this demonstration, equal amounts of water are applied to three soils with different textures. Sandy soils have less poor volume than silt or clay soils. Note that the water penetrates more rapidly and more deeply in the sandy soil than in either the silt or clay soils. This is because sandy soils have larger pores that absorb water faster and hold less water per unit of depth. Consequently, sandy soils require more frequent but lighter water application to maintain adequate water for plant growth and minimize losses below the root zone. Soils with more clay hold more water within the normal plant root zone. Thus, plants grown in soils with more clay can do well with less frequent and heavier applications of water. This is not to say that over-irrigation is not possible in clay soils. A frequent consequence of over-irrigation in such soils is oxygen depletion in the root zone, which limits plant root development. Whether soils are sand or clay in texture, it is important to time irrigations to replace the soil water extracted by the plant roots.